Hello and welcome back to SMT5 Vengeance. They have started throwing even more new mechanics at us everywhere we go and I think I see a new quest behind us. So we may start there, but if we have a look at our map, we have an awful lot of things that have just opened up for us. We have quests over there, we have quests over there, we have two abscesses to clear out. There's a lot for us to do. There's also this weird bit in here, which I'm pretty certain I remember for some reason, but anyway, uh, let's start. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for us to get up there right now. Let's start with the, let's start with this. Okay. Oh. Oh, what even is this thing? It looks so weird. It's the way for us to get up to somewhere. Uh, okay. There, by the way, big demon. You can fight it eventually. We definitely do not want to fight it now. Ah, and that's how we get on top. I was asking that last time. I was like, I wonder how we get up here. That's my answer. Hello. Cone. Hmm, what should I do? Hmm, you there, demon. I am Nayami Nayami. I am a dragon who brings fortune to my followers. I have a favor to ask. Please listen. There is a scary demon near here. She is an envoy from hell. She will turn this place into a world of death. And she said, I look tasty. I am in shock. I ran as fast as I could, but next time I might not be so lucky. Please defeat that demon and chase her away. Okay. Oh, thank you. That demon is called Dormath. She is near the underpass. Good luck. All right then. I don't know why I decided to take this route back. Probably because it's really cool. But um, anyway, back over here. Drop in a little save and let's see what this quest is. It could be that these are joint quests. Occasionally that happens where you have two quests that are quite close to each other. Um, you have to choose which path you want to follow here. Oh, hello. I didn't press A, by the way, so this uh, event just happened. Come out, come out, my sweet children. Uh, just where are they? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you there. I am... Zizi Mittel. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time. It, I seem to have lost some of my children. They were playing nearby just a moment ago. I worry that if I go out looking for them, they may return here while I'm gone, so I just don't know what to do. Hmm. Isn't this the part where you're supposed to say, I'll look for them, or something along those lines? So, will you help me find my children? Okay. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. You should know that my children are all bright and shining stars. Oh, I'm not being metaphorical, mind you. Take a look inside my robe. You see a great many stars, yes? These are my children, young stars living in mother space. Children can be so shy, many of mine rarely show themselves in front of others. My young stars can only be seen by those other than myself during a special lunar event. However, once this lunar event ends with the arrival of the full moon, my children will appear to vanish again. So please try to find as many young stars as you can before the full moon. My children should be somewhere in this area. Uh, yes. Oh, but I'll understand if you're unable to find all of them. I have quite lots of children, you see. If you can manage to find four of my young stars, I'll be sure to find the rest myself. I'm the only one who knows when this particular lunar event will begin. There happens to be one soon, so if you're ready, we can get started right away. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, close your eyes for just a moment. Ah, beautiful new moon is arriving. Now you should be able to see the radiance of my children. There are some subquests called moon phase subquests that require you to finish specific tasks in the time it takes for a new moon to become a full moon. You will fill these quests if you accept one, then leave the netherworld. You can talk to the client of the quest to challenge it again, regardless of whether you succeeded or failed in previous attempts. You can also suspend the quest by talking to the client. Please. Well, off you go. Got one. Got one. Got one. Got one. It's more over here. There's another one. Here you go. There's another one. Okay, there was one over here. I believe that uh, moon phases are affected by um your number of steps. So in theory, if you stand still, the moon phases will not progress that quickly. 
Not that I think it matters for this one. Okay. I'm assuming there might be a reward for collecting a lot of these though. So let's uh, see what we can do. Are there any more here? Uh, did I have to return before the timer ran out? I don't remember. I don't think I had to return. Yeah, no, I can't see anything there. Any more further in here? Halfway until the new moon. Yeah, I don't see any in here, so I think that that'll do. Right, cool. Let's head back. Unless we spot any more on the uh, path back. No, that seems good. My children should be somewhere in this area. Can you find, try to find at least four of them? Please hurry, there isn't much time left. Return. Oh, you've already found my children? Then let me see how many have returned. Everyone. Come, my children, return to me. Ah, ten of my children have come back. Oh, my precious little stars, don't you worry your mother like that. I'm sure these children know where the others are hiding, so you don't need to worry about finding the rest yourself. Thank you, you did a wonderful job. You got a Soma drop. Okay. Is Soma drop like a small amount of HP and SP? A MP? Seems my children found something interesting and they want you to have it. Lifestone chain. And you find more. Even though you were able to find seven stars, I'm sure you'll be able to put it to good use. Two more lifestone chains. Oh, it seems you managed to find more. This is a very precious item. I'd like you to have it for finding ten children. So ten got us the final Soma drop by the looks of it. Okay. Now as promised, you may call upon me from the depths of your heart. But don't get the wrong idea, I draw the line that's summoning me. And I'm certainly not obliged to go with you if you're not worthy of me, got it? This is the first time I've given anyone permission to summon me, so I trust you won't attempt to misuse me. Ah, so you've now unlocked uh, ZZ Mittel for fusion. <laughs> I would seem that my children are taking a liking to you. Please do come play with them again sometime. Okay. So we can redo that quest if we want the reward again, I think. Okay. I think we found all of them, so that's fine. Uh, Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, and then essence. Wait, oh, it's just saying we have that essence there. Okay, cool. Uh, we're actually going to head back here for a second, because I just remembered we do have something in the Demon Haunt we were suggested to go back here again for. So, let's head back here, do some chatting. Okay, so it looks like dots are just talking. That means they, they actually have something to give you or to do. Okay, well we'll do talking for now, but if it starts looping, then we'll just do the um, exclamation marks later. Hey. You and Atsua are from Juin High School, right? I'm from St. Marina's... St. Marina Girls High School. Speaking of, makes me wonder if we might find the ruins of our schools out in this wasteland. That's an interesting thought. Pixies love playing tricks, you know. wonder if I should play tricks on the other demons in this haunt. Hmm. Yeah, so those are just like little uh, bits of dialogue. You're still just a kid, right? Did you get lost and that's how you ended up in the netherworld? Oh, fine. I guess I'll have to take care of you. Okay. Hello. People are cutting down too many trees nowadays. Sooner or later, they're all going to be cursed. No prey in the desert. So sad for beasts here. If I need to, I will eat you whole. I suppose you deserve a little gift to lift the spirits. Take this. Two concentrate gems. Concentrate uh, doubles the next magic attack? I don't know what it is in this game. They keep changing it. Greatly increases the damage. I think it's doubles usually. Sometimes it's 1.8 times. Sometimes it's, you know, 1.5 times. Sometimes it's 2.5 times the damage of the next magic attack. It does something to the next magic attack is basically the easiest way of putting it. Also, I'm just going to do a, uh, an MP recovery while we're here. Given that we can. I'll also do a little save while we're here as well. Right. Uh, let's head out. Let's see what we can find. Uh, do we go down this path next? Maybe. I think this is going to give us a lot of fights in a row. Which definitely sounds interesting. Let's go. Player turn. I don't know what they're weak to. I think it's electricity though. I think it's Zeo. It is Zeo. Okay. Hit him. Nice. Zutunshi. 
You wait to Bufu? No. Hit him. Do Zio again. And then Zio. Nice. Oh, I thought we were going to have another fight. Guess not. Next one. Um, Zan. Zio. Uh, Zio. He's still bite. Didn't quite get it. That's okay. I was just trying to find a way of doing this that costs less uh, MP. I think that costs slightly less for uh, for Pixie. Okay. I learned a skill. I'm the strongest. Bouncing claws. Two to three weak physical attacks to a foe. It's better than bestial bite if you're not critting. It might also be better if you are critting, but it's definitely better than the single physical attack. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we could probably attack like that, right? That might be a cheaper, cheaper version of this. Zeo. Followed by... Bouncing Claws. Attack. That wasn't quite enough, I see. They get a turn. Oh, they would have a turn had we not just dodged. Kick him again. Okay. Kind of thought we might have more to fight in here, like in a row, so we got the bonus XP, but whatever. Zan. Zio. Zio. This might still be the best way of killing them, honestly. That crit. Nice. Only one out of three crit, by the way. Which means it's one of these games where it's better to use a multi-attack for the hope of getting a crit. A lot of the time. Although we did just lose two uh, turns there due to missing. I think Pixie's starting to fall off because Pixie missing there basically means that um, she can't. if she can't hit the enemies, we're going to lose like half of our turn. Yeah, we're also getting like no XP from this at all. Uh, Pixie, I think it's time to swap. Just because... Um, yeah, we don't want to lose our turns here. What's happening in here? It's like three of them patrolling together. Okay. Actually, I guess right now we want to be at the front of the party because we've got um, Zeo. Yeah, let's fight these guys if we can. I love them all to aggro. So we're going to deliberately try and get these guys to aggro on us. All at the same time. You just like flying over there? You're, you're maybe the worst guards the world has ever seen. Alright, I'll stand here for you. Does this work? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. We had to attack them for this to start. Uh, the strongest uh, Mudo. Okay, we'll just do a Bufu. Zeo. That one's dead. Bouncing Claws. Zeo. Bufu. Just attack. Uh, actually, if I do Zeo like this, I can then attack that one. Yeah, it's slightly better. Okay. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Nice. She leveled up. Don't get anything more here, but that's okay. Pixie wants to have a conversation in a demon haunt. Yeah, we're not getting any XP for those fights, and it's not giving us the multiple fights in a um, Yeah, it's not giving us the multiple fights in a row, so there's not really any point in doing those fights right now. They're just not worth it, XP-wise. Uh, Demon Haunt. While we're here. Um, oh, I'll do these ones each time. Right, I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of these ones, uh, but I will definitely do our Gami conversations. Young man. I would like your answer to a question that troubles me. Do you regret choosing to fuse with me? 
It saved your life, of course, but I'd understand if you resented being forced into this arrangement with no warning. Yes. Yet, even in spite of that, you still took my hand. You surely have a strong will to live. Cynthia, I'd like your answer to a question and didn't wait for us to give him one. I wish to be more po popular. How about you make some merchandise of me? Like a dry holly uh, that grows when you put it in water. A phenomenal idea, isn't it? Okay. I run fast through the bamboo grove like a boar. Watch out for me in the bamboo grove. Hey, let's play Mandrake. I'll pull you up by the neck and then you scream really, really loud, okay? I thought we'd had that one, then the end was different. I'll also do uh, human ones each time, definitely. Phew, it's a little depressing having nothing but desert on all sides. Not to mention all the sands bad on the skin. Gotta stay hydrated. Ugh, once all this is over, I'm gonna go to an aquarium. Just stir at some fish for a while, you know? Okay. Head up this way. Hello. What are you waiting around for? Come on, let's go. Okay, hello. I found this earlier. Don't even think of asking where, though. It's a secret. Another beat. Did you know I can also help with work in the fields and stuff? I can't carry anything heavy, so it has to be really simple things. I can sow seeds and fan things and cheer you on, and yeah. Okay. There's a lot of dialogue for these guys. It's all just kind of random dialogue, but it is there. Right, do a recovery here. Just to get us a little bit of uh, MP back. Then, uh, do we have any space for more demons? I just want to have a look. We have one more demon uh, spot here. Might be worth doing a little fusion. We'll go into the world of shadows. Welcome to the. Um, we have a new apotheosis because we have a new thing. Yeah, we have a demon one that we could potentially get. What's Hellish Slash? Four weak physical attacks to one foe, low accuracy. Potentially really good um, with crits, because the crits don't miss, I think, generally. I can't take that because it's unique. can only be wielded by its original owner. Ew. Okay. Well, don't worry about that then. There's an additional skill for, uh, to be selected from an essence. Increases demon stock by one. That might be worth taking right now. It's kind of useful. Um... And then, yeah, here I don't really need any of these. That's fine. Demon fusion. I want to fuse Mandrake and Kodama. That makes Jack-O-Lantern. That's too high a level. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Let's head out and see what we can get. Um, then we can do some fusions with it. So, we'll get this thing first. <laughs> right. Hey, hey. At some point, we'll probably ignore that. I also never checked what Soma Drop was. Soma Drop is moderate HP and MP recovery to one ally. That's not bad. Also, it's just telling us we now have an Analyze of Demon. So you probably grab Demon as well at some point. And get him. Let's talk to uh, Kate Sith, otherwise known as Puss and Boots. Why did you choose to speak to me? Also, I'm not getting into the discussion of how this uh, thing's name is pronounced. It's it's not worth it. Uh, you look strong. I look strong, you say, but what is strength in your eyes? Uh, individuality. That's true. I've been told I have a strong sense of individuality myself. Seems you have a sharp eye for detail. Let's see if you have a tongue for diplomacy. Uh, I want a glorious share of your life. Very well. <coughs> That's, that is a glorious share. I'm satisfied. I am the Kate Sith. I look forward to fighting at your side. You are Puss and Boots. That is what you are. Uh, we are now going to use... Wrong one. We are now going to use Pixie's heal to heal us up. Nice. Do a little save as well. And let's go. Uh... Yeah, probably back to the demon cave. Let's just go grab ourselves a demon quickly. That seems reasonable. So wait for the moon phase to switch from new to something else. Wait, unless new moon is the one that you want it to be. I don't know. Let's try new moon. 
Yeah, where'd the moon go? No, not you, idiot. I'm looking for the moon. No use. Could this be due to the new moon? Yeah, I think that seems likely. Uh, Zeal. Follow up with a bouncing claws. Um, Zeal. Nice. Um, let's put a little confusion on it. Smacked itself. Okay. Hit it. And hit it. And hit it. Nice. Next one. Oh, now we have the multiple fights. <laughs> okay. Zeal. Um, attack. Zeal. Bouncing claws. Zeal. Attack. Zeal. There we go. That got us three times money and 1.5 times XP. Head back, wait for the uh, moon phase to change. There we go, let's fight. Yeah, you can slash super early on those. Oh, they actually got the first hit? What? Okay, never mind. You wanna talk? You look real tasty, mind if I eat you? It'll probably be disgusting. That's the shit I crave. Ow. Uh, well, I told you the crit Magatsuhi would be great with that. Okay. Demon seems to want something. What will you do? Flash some Maka? Flash some Maka at the demon. Hey, gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, that wasn't good. Like her just running away. Okay. There's a human scent on you. You got the man stink. Why is that, buddy? I ate a human. <laughs> yeah, really? How was it? It tasted delicious, right? It tasted awful. Ridiculous. You probably just weren't eating the good parts, idiot. How about I join you and teach you what the tastiest parts of the human are? Yeah, let's see here. Give me Maka. Okay. Ah, that's tasty. They call me Demon. Pleasure is all mine, eh? Okay. We need to go get our uh, companion back. I'm assuming they can come back. Wait, can do guest characters come back? It's important information. Yes, yes they do. Okay. Uh, then let's go sort out our party. Well, I, I basically just want to immediately fuse demons. So let's go see what we got. Welcome to the. Uh, demon fusion reverse fusion. Fusion, let's just go down here. So Neko Shogun, that's Pixie. Sandman, Pixie. Agathian. Kate Sith plus Kodama can make us an Agathian. Angel can be Pixie plus Mandrake. Turdok. It's too high a level. Make an Agathian. We'll give it Zan. Uh Dia Dormina. Cool. And what's this thing? Oh, I didn't even check the thing for uh, the new ones. Uh, where are we? So our new ones here. So you. Paw to paw combat. Increases damage when another demon in the active party beside the user has paw to paw combat. Demon. Dark enhancer. Uh, raises potential to be the same as its potential. Okay. That's fine. Uh, now we can make this. Cool. And Thunderous Melody. When in the active party, increases damage when striking an electric weakness for all allies. That's pretty useful. Is this demon to your life? Oh, also lower. A familiar with no physical body that appears only during the day. There is no consensus on the appearance of an Agathian. It can resemble a human, bird, or animal. They are usually sealed away in bottles or pots, but can also be sealed in rings or talismans. The term Agathian is used as a general term for familiars. Is cool. This demon? I'm happy with it. <laughs> hey, I'm Agathia Neoma. Good to meet ya. Okay. Cool. I just want to have a look at reverse compendium here. 
Mm, yeah, no, I don't really want to fuse Pixie right now. That's the problem. Okay, cool. And then special fusion, we're still waiting on getting an angel recipe that works for us. Return. Wonderful. I probably should have registered the demons before we did that. You know what? I, I know we're, we're, we're jumping uh, out and in of menus, but let's go here. Let's just do a quick register. Ready? Cool. Return. Wonder if it's the thing that is in um, some of the other games where if you click that register button, it, it then says if you have one that's eligible, like only register higher level than the previously registered things. That's quite useful when it has that. Anyway. Right, carry on. Let's head over here. So we have a bunch of these guys. I really want to fight that one though, because that is a powered up one. Powered up Kodama. And a powered up um, Mandrake in the same fight. Is Kodama weak to electricity? I also forgot to put my guest back in. Let's do this. And then we'll bring guest back in in a second. Right. Um, Hellish Slash. That missed. That's horrible. Uh... Okay. Kill it. I just wanted to kill one. Eternal Prayer is a heal. Twilight Wave is heavy damage. We're all dead. Uh, well, there's our first death, I want to say. Just kicks you straight to the menu. Yeah, okay. Uh, so when it says it can use any of the uh, Magatsuhi skills, it means it can use any of the Magatsuhi skills. Including ones like that. Okay. That's uh, quite frightening. Okay. Well, at least we saved. <laughs> Can I... Is it still here, by the way? No. Okay. So it doesn't save those positions after one of those. You get one chance. Let's try the abscess. This one's probably going to be more our speed. And hit it. We're in. Ooh, Mermaid. I think they are weak to Zeo. Let's do crit first, though. Let's have a look. If they are, Gathian is fantastic, because so it's going to make our uh, Zeo even stronger. Wonderful. They are. Fantastic. Zeo. Zeo. Bestial Bite. We're then going to use Bestial Bite. Zeo. Uh, Zeo. And Beastial Bite. Alright, well, we've almost killed it in one turn. Baron Karn is a charm. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Zeo. Oh, that wasn't Zeo. Zeo. It worked. Charm must just give it a chance of not being able to attack. Anyway, we killed it. <laughs> and we leveled up again. We got Vitality, um, Luck, and uh, yeah, Agility that time, I think. Unless I was missing it in the corner. So, yeah, we got a good level up. And we get more Miracles. So Divine Garrison 2, Divine Amalgamation, Light Mastery, Dark Ma Mastery, and Ailment Mastery. Pixie wants to have a conversation. Okay. That's fine. Let's do a save. And carry on. Okay. Um, you are Dormouth? Hey, hey! This is Tokyo, right? I hope I can try some fancy Edome-style sushi while I'm here. I'm so hungry. This had this yummy, fishy, snaking looking thing run away from me, too. Huh? huh? Yeah, I'm Dormouth. Uh, who are you? What you doing here? You told Dormouth that you were asked to chase her away. What? what? Are you serious? I just came here to do some sightseeing. Why would anyone say that about me? Sure, I'm the gatekeeper to the underworld, but I'm just doing my job, you know? That's so mean. Don't look at me like I'm just some nasty killer. I'm a good dog. Ugh, that really ticks me off. You know what they call this? Occupational discrimination. Whatever, this is stupid and now I'm in a bad mood, so just die. Alright. Ooh. I don't think we've heard this music before either. Unless this is stuff we've heard before. Just gonna lower your attack as the first move. Are you weak to Zeo? Nope. Okay, I was happy I lowered attack then. Budo? Locks it. That's annoying. 
guess I could have guessed by, you know, the whole um, guarding the underworld thing. That's a lot of actions you got in one turn. Okay, I'm going to lower your attack again. Uh, let's try Zan. You're weak to Zan, huh? How about fire? Not fire. How about ice? Not ice. Okay. Hit him. Okay. So Kasha continuing to raise the evasion. That's annoying. We should be fine here. Zan. That's a horrible one to miss. Because I want to heal on this turn. Budo. Uh, you've killed uh, Zutunchi. Let's change in something that has Zan. Pixie is Zan. Doesn't have really high agility though. Does anything else have Zan? Uh... Nah, it's just Pixie. Okay. Well, welcome Your to the turn. squad, Pixie. Oh. Might immediately die in the next uh, combat that we have, but it's okay. Uh... Let's guard. Let's see what, what happens now. We got hit for a weakness and we're dead. Alrighty then. <laughs> I forgot that we're weak to dark at the start of the game. Okay. Um, well, let's switch up our party. We now kind of know what we're looking for. Um, yeah. Yeah. Something like that's now what we're looking for. Let's go. I see we might want to gather some Magatsuhi before we do we do the, the actual uh, fight itself. Yeah. Hello. I've gotten a lot better at conversation lately, but no one ever wants us to join them. Seriously, why doesn't anyone talk to us? But anyway, because of that, I'm going to give you this. Foul Talisman. Uh, if you have a foul one, you... Get all potentials are maxed out for all allies for one turn. Now everyone will see how useful we are. I don't think that's very useful, but maybe that's kind of the point. Okay, so now we got to climb this thing. Ah, over here we can get a couple of those. Okay, you see the big enemy off to the side? You can fight it by climbing this thing, I believe, but um, I wouldn't, personally. Okay. Oh, it's Me Man here. I haven't even looking for them. I'm not in Me Man finding mode. I should be always, but I'm not. Yeah, I want to stay away. Well, I think you can fight them by climbing to the top of this. I'm not sure. Maybe you have to fight them and maybe it's you, you you get to the top of this and then you use something. That might be it. Yeah. Oh, there's there multiple Me Man here. I think there might be multiple Me Man here. Anyway, hello. Abscess, fight or run, you choose. Worst case, get attacked while trying to run. Be careful, yeah, yeah. I thought I saw another one of these guys up here. Is that number 10? Yeah. Was the one, like... I think it's the same one I just saw it from different angles. Yeah, same one I saw it from different angles. Okay. Here you go. Oh, you want some? Well, do ya? Um, I kind of want this over here. I'm just going to ignore these guys right now. Alright, let's fight. What are you... Oh, they get to go first? Okay. Agathian starts to speak to you. Whoa, you're totally going to die, but I'm going to give you a chance. Give me Mac and I'll let you go. No? Okay. They're gathering Magatsuhi. What are they weak to? Uh, they are weak to... Ice. I don't have ice on. Okay, attack. Uh, Bestial Bite. Heal. Uh, you're also weak to Moodle. Really? Pixie's dead. She's hurt. Okay. We're gonna die again. Not quite, but yes. Essentially, we're gonna die again. Okay, put one to sleep. Beast your bite. 
best. Okay. Put another one to sleep. Best. Beast steel bite. Okay. It recovered. Put it to sleep again. Missed. Attack. Okay. That's at least a positive. Put it to sleep. Missed. Beast your bite. Just hoping for a crit one of these days. Look, we block the only attack they have, which is kind of useful. Hit him. Okay. I mean, they do also have basic attack, I just realized, so. That doesn't do anything. Uh, hit him. That's fine. Um, attack. Hit him. No crits there. We'll probably crit on the last one, it doesn't matter. That'd be my guess. Nope, didn't crit on any of them. Mandrake leveled up. Gets us lunge. Nice. Well, at least we got our Magatsuhi. Now we have to go and heal. Then we can come back and do this fight. Okay. All the way over here. And I'm back this way. It's going to cost us a bit of money to heal, but that's okay. We can do that. Right. Over the top. And let's do a little heal. Recovery. Heal all. Right, then. Switch Pixie in. Uh, Yeah, switch you in. That's what we're looking for. Let's go do this uh, quest. Whoop. I think it's had some enemies spawned on the other side of that rock that despawned as we got there. That's useful. Okay, now we have Max Magatsuhi. We can start this fight by just blasting as much damage as possible, which will probably win us the fight. That's my hope anyway. Let's do a little uh, save here as well. Right. Actually, now that I think about it, you you don't want to be here. Uh... Wait, no, you have Zan. You do you do want to be here. That's fine. Okay. This is all fine. Let's face him. Okay. Now, uh, we want to immediately start with Critical. Nice. And Zan. Followed by Bestial Bite. Followed by Zan. Followed by Bestial Bite. Followed by Zan. I know it's a pretty tough uh, set of moves we got here. It's the same moves uh, over and over, but it gets some down to, uh, you know, 25% HP. Agathian is dead. We then get Bouncing Claws, and now they're gathering Magatsuhi. I know what to do here. So we change in Yoko. Actually, we change in Demon because Demon is immune to dark. That gives us half a turn. Uh, I think passing gives you half a turn. It does. Okay. Guard, guard. Yes, okay. I was just, ca I was just uh, calculating it in my head. You actually don't need to guard. You could pass. Yeah, pass. Guard. I think guarding does also make it less likely you get instant killed by a weakness as well. There we go. Budo. Okay. Cool. Attack. Um, he still bite. Zan. Um, Mirage. Pass. Guard. 
Udo, block. That's what we we're looking for. That's why we brought Demon in here. Uh, right. Bestial Bite. Zan. And attack. Got him! Huge amount of XP for Demon. We got an Ox Beezer, uh, Beezer there. And does that get us Agi? It does. Nice. Quite useful. Ow, why are you doing this to me? You tried to eat Nayama, uh, Nayama. Na Nayami, Nayami. Nami, Nami. Oh, the tasty sushi looking thing that got away. But hey, eating delicious food is the best part of traveling. It's not like I only wanted to eat demons or something. Forget it, I've been treated so badly here. I'm never coming back again. Dormouth fled. Okay. Wonder what would have happened if we'd said we, you, you want to, uh, to make this a world of death. Probably the same thing, but a different bit of dialogue would be my guess. But it's interesting that there is a different thing there. Anyway, uh, or like there is a choice there. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of dodging. No problem for us though. Let's do a little recovery here. Heal all. We also then sort out our party again. So we want our party to be... Uh, something like this now. Right. Demon Haunt. Bench. Young man. Do you view demons as simple tools of battle or comrades in arms? Ultimately, that is a matter of perspective. Yet remember, these demons will be your companions in a netherworld. Best to choose those who appeal to you. Yes. Demons vary wildly in appearance and abilities. I'm certain you will find some that catch your interest. And speaking with them here, you might even discover new signs to them. Okay. <laughs> My name is the original word for demon. I'm the original demon. I'm the best demon. The best. Okay. Hello, Mandrake. Hey, did you know there's a way to tell boy Mandrakes and girl Mandrakes apart? See, boy Mandrakes, between their legs, they, uh, they, they got this uh, thingy. I can't say it. Sniff, sniff. Never smelled you before, like fresh from the oven, ready to eat. Okay. Leave that one alone. I heard that humans from a long time ago said Tokyo was like a desert. So if it was already like a desert before, it's not a big deal that it's actually a desert now, right? Did they call it a desert before? Maybe, I don't know. Hello. Um, your motivated pixie powered up. Okay, you will not believe this. I just thought of the most amazing skill ever. Tower Kaja raises attack of one uh, ally. Come on, let's get going already. All the grown-ups want to do is talk and talk and talk. Ugh. That's cool. So she gained a new skill via this. Okay. That's useful. Right. Save. And now, um, let's head this way. Oh, wait a second. Finish her quest. <laughs> Forgot the whole reason I came over here was to do these um, grind rails. Right. Hello. You return. What happened to Dormath? Your Portuguese defeated the demon. Oh, thank you. I see. Jumped to the wrong conclusion. It's bad to rely on own preconceived notions. In any case, the danger is gone. Now I won't be eaten. This is for you. Okay, we got the treacherous chaos. Uh, very apt. Hey, a couple of level ups. Yoko leveled up again. Cool. And Pixie leveled up. Uh, so for Tyrants, if we have two Tyrants, or if we have Tyrant, Drake, Haunt, and Foul together, we can get this one, which is severe level-based almighty attack to one foe with a chance of instant kill removes one pressed turn icon from the foe's next turn. Ooh. You're a kind demon. Farewell. That's actually kind of like a skill that one of the secret, bo well, it's, I say secret bosses, the final boss of the DLC for um, the Switch version had. Sounds very similar to that. It's a slightly nerfed version of that, but sounds similar. 
Ah, jeez, you're so mean. Oh, hey, mister, my name's Agathian, and I got problems. You want to hear about them? You know those demons called demons? They're way too rough of us. It's a huge pain. They got pointy fangs and pointy spears, and whenever they get bitey or pokey, we just gotta hide in our pots until they get bored of bullying us. After all this, someone's gotta teach those demons a lesson. You seem pretty tough, uh, tough yourself, mister. Maybe easy for you. Gee, thanks. Then how about you take down three of those demons? That'll teach them to bully us. Go get them. We're all counting on you. Oh. So that's why I remember the demon cave. And you know what? I'm having a sudden realization I did the exact same thing last time. In that I went to the cave, killed a bunch of demons, and then it was like, hey, have you considered killing demons? Okay, I think we got the first hit. We did! Wonderful. Uh, Zeo? 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 Attack? Zeo? Cool. Next one. Uh, Zeo? Zeo? Uh, where are we? Zeo? Attack. And Zeo. Wonderful. And we got a life stone out of it. Alright, fantastic. We've done the quest. Uh, I am, just because we're here anyway, gonna come back over here and grab ourselves a little recovery. Uh, heal all, yes. Then, I'm gonna take the rail, and we're gonna head back to the other quest. Okay, so, should be here. I didn't get stuck on a bit of scenery. Thanks, you really showed those demons who's boss. Everyone's going to be real happy to hear about this. Thank you so much. So we got Agathian's Essence and a bunch more XP. Um, in my head, I have the level for the first boss in the game being around level 13. So with that in mind, we're pretty much getting to the right level to move on a little bit here. That's fine. We're going to do all the quests while we're still of a level to actually get experience and things from them. Young man. It's still far off, but I sense the presence of a powerful demon. Oh, hey, you hear that? The demon of the tower sounds like he's on a rampage. He's super scary. He's got like a gajillion heads and he'll gobble up pretty much any demon that gets too close. That's why none of the other demons ever go near the tower. I've heard rumors that he even breathes fire and spits poison and stuff. The demon of the tower. Seems he's a dangerous foe. Young man, before we go to Tokyo Tower, I recommend we strengthen ourselves by defeating other demons, or by recruiting them to our side. Okay. Basically, it's, it's another one of these. I recommend you interface with the mechanics before going any further. That's fine. I saw a mermaid lady swimming to the waterfront under the road. It looked like she was running from something. I wonder if she's in trouble. Hmm. Well, maybe we should go and find out. So we'll do a little save and... Jump off the edge. There we go. Oh, you got something for me? Okay. Strength in sense. Oh, it's okay. Ooh, there's another Aogami around here. Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. In the um, original version of the game, I believe that these were um, hostile mermaids. I might be wrong, though. Anyway, grab those. Uh, and we'll do a little destroy that. Okay. What have you got? Oh, okay. Cool. Hello. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't look like you were sent to chase me, thank goodness. My name is Mermaid, and I'm a little bit of trouble. Yes. Up this hill is a pool where mermaids dwell. But one day, my friends began acting, well, strange. It was like they'd fallen under some terrible curse. Before I even realized what was happening, they all started attacking me. It's a miracle I'm even alive. Mm. Please save my friends. It almost seems strange for me to ask this out of nowhere, but somehow I felt like things would work out if I turned to you. Mm. Thank you. So you really helped me? Follow this river upstream into the mountains, and you'll find a pool we call home. Okay. 
Be careful, though. You'll have to go through dangerous demon territory to get there. I want you to have this. I hope you'll find it useful. Mermaid's Essence. Yes. Be careful out there, okay? Okay. But yeah, I believe that there there was some hostile mermaids there or something like that. Yeah. They did the same, you know, ambush thing. It was just a different uh, enemy type. What the hell? Okay, that's interesting. That's an interesting way for us to get around here. Alright, I'll do a, a save here and let's just jump down. Right, let's go. Now we can just run up the hill. Easy. Okay. Uh, we are finished in the previous section, right? Uh, Yeah, mostly. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, that's the husk over here. Oh, also Sandman. Let's uh, get one. Okay, I was going to say that isn't a Sandman. But the ones... That, that's fine. Um, the one in the front is. Uh, let's maybe Dormina. That's okay. Uh, talk. What's there to gain from talking to an old fart like me? Uh, demon companion. Let's say I joined you. How are you going to treat me? Uh, like a friend? Friends share everything with each other, you know? You got anything to share with me? Uh, I'll be one Maka. Okay. I'll be wanting a good deal of your MP. Okay. That wasn't a good deal. That's quite enough for me. Name Sandman. Good to meet you. Okay. You now have Sandman. Uh, also, do we have anyone in our party we haven't looked at yet? No, it's just Sandman we haven't looked at, actually. Okay, Unending Nightmare. When the user attacks a target that's afflicted with sleep, sleep will not be removed. Ooh, very cool. Uh, lore. A fairy from rural Germany rumored to put people to sleep using magic sand he carried in his bag. If a victim resisted, he would sit on their eyelids to force them to sleep. It's even been said that naughty children who refused to go to sleep would be punished by having their eyes scooped out and taken away. Though this is speculated to be a fabrication thought up by German mothers. Oh, alright then. Here's a little... Oh, whoa! That was an ambush and a half. Apparently it's our turn, though. I guess it's a little messed up by German mothers, but anyway. Um, whatever. Uh, are we to fire? Okay. Um, attack. Let's just secure a kill here. Zeal. Zeal. Fire. Uh, let's go for that one. Yeah. You put him to sleep, but it really doesn't matter. Nice. Zutunshi leveled up and got nothing. Okay, second Aogami Husk. Well, I'd love to see what that has in it. So, uh, let's run over here. Grab that thing up on top of the mountain and then just drop down to the Leyline Fount. That seems good to me. Although there is a quest up there as well. And a thick way up there. Oh, there's all sorts of things to do. Also, I know I occasionally ignore her saying, you know, there, there you go. But it's just because it's not amazing items that she gets. So if it's not immediately in her way, I'm not immediately going to go out of my way to get it. Right. Uh, let's see what this Aogami essence is. We'll go back up there later. Okay. Seems you've awakened to a new miracle. See Welcome for yourself. Oh yeah, we do have new miracles as well. What have we got? Divine Amalgamation. Allows the Nahabino to acquire affinity resistances from essences during essence fusion. Yeah, okay, that's probably worth getting. Increasing demon stock is worth getting. Don't need the rest of that. You wish to Let's get Divine Garrison 2. I actually kind of think Empowering Cheer might be useful. But, um, we'll see. I'll you grab this. Grab Art of Essences while we're here. Let's grab Empowering Cheer as well. Just to give us a little bit of HP and MP recovery while out on the field. Right. Skills, ideally. I just want to see what this has. Our 
Aramasa, eight weak physical attacks to one foe. Perfect. That is exactly what we want. So we're now going to take Aramasa, Zeo, Rooted Soul. Actually, uh, yeah, Tarunda, Rakunda, Rooted Soul. Why are we ditching Bestial Bite? Well, okay, this does a greater effect if it's a critical, right? This is eight attacks. I think eight attacks is going to be better than a greater effect. Like, this was doing 60 damage, right? And a basic attack does, like, let's say a basic attack does 15. I think that's a little bit low, but this was doing, like, let's say 70 damage. A basic attack was doing 15. So I'm saying that this is doing more than it was doing, and our basic attack is doing slightly less. Well, with eight attacks uh, doing 15, we're 80, or then uh, 120 damage. So this outperforms in a non-crit setting against one that only performs in a crit setting. Now, if this crits, you're then looking at like 25 damage a hit. Yeah, you can see why uh, it's really good. How is Fuse. This? Okay, uh, next thing, we can get affinities. Do we have a better set of affinities to get? I really don't want to get something that has... What are our current affinities? Weakness to force and dark. Really, we just want as little uh, negatives as possible. Um, light is actually kind of a good one. The reason why light is kind of a good one to be weak to is because not a lot of things have uh, light attacks because you tend to be fighting things that have um, dark attacks most of the time. However, I think the one that we're after here is either this one, so the one that's weak to light and weak to electric, because it's got an immunity to dark, which is quite nice, because that would end turns if you get hit by dark, or Mandrake, which is kind of just a um, just a resist to electric. Is anything immune to poison? Ah, you resist poison. So that might actually be good against the boss, although it probably won't be because you're weak to everything else and they probably have an ability with an affinity. I kind of think this is good right now. Let's do this. I don't think anything's going to hit us with a light move. How yeah. Is this? That's what I want. Perfect. Alright, I'm feeling a lot better now. Demon Compendium, let's do a register while we're here. You can also, I believe... In your compendium you can look at the original stats and you can buy the original stat version which has um, a lower cost than the custom one so there is a re so there's no longer a reason not to register like the best version you have because you can always go back to the garbage version if you just need it for fusion later just as another Return. little change that they made here cool right and now i think i'm gonna save and We'll call it a day. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.